Well, tomorrow the state of Washington will be holding primaries, and a couple of Republican House primaries have caught the eye of former President Donald Trump. In Washington's 4th Congressional District, Trump has endorsed former police chief Lauren Culp over incumbent Congressman Dan Newhouse, who is one of the 10 House Republicans who voted in favor of impeaching Trump. And in the 3rd Congressional District, where another Republican who voted to impeach Trump, Representative Jamie Herrera Butler, has Trump has lent his support behind uh, challenger Joe Kent, a former Green Beret who served 11 combat deployments before retiring to join the CAA. Joe Kent joins us now. Joe, good to see you. Um, let me ask you, how big is the uh, is the Trump endorsement to your uh, to your campaign right now? It's huge. I mean, it's the most powerful endorsement in politics. Obviously, President Trump is still very much at the helm of the. Uh, the America First movement. It's also significant in our district, too, because of the jungle primary. Those of us that initially challenged Jamie Herrera Butler agreed to rally around the person who earned President Trump's endorsement in order not to split the vote. And so that's really what's been the driving, I think, factor in our race so far. Unfortunately, one of the uh, one of my opponents decided not to honor President Trump's endorsement, and she stayed in the race. And so now we have the establishment dumping a bunch of money into, into her campaign to support her in an attempt to divide the vote to get the rhino uh, impeachment voter, Jamie Herrera Butler, through. But it's not working so far. We're, we're ahead and we're leading, and our, we're just building more momentum ahead of tomorrow. Joe, for our viewers, juggle primary system, which means the two top candidates will advance to the general um, regardless of their party. Congressman Herrera has said that she's trying to appeal to moderates, to independents, and to Democrats. Are you going to take the same approach if you win, or will you push a conservative agenda? Pushing a conservative agenda, really the biggest thing I think about the America First agenda that I think we really have to do a better job of articulating is that this is not a traditional Republican agenda. This is not the traditional Democrat agenda. Right now, it should be very evident to the American people that there is an establishment that has corporate special interests, that has no qualms of shipping our jobs overseas, getting us involved in foreign wars, bringing in massive amounts of unchecked illegal immigration. And this is what we need to fight back against. So the America First movement really, I think, has a great opportunity to reach across the aisle and bring people into our movement because we are fighting for the American working family and for American sovereignty. So, Joe, you mentioned uh, the other candidate, Heidi St. John. You've got her, you've got you. What do you see as the, coming out of this jungle primary, who do you see as the top two going into that November race? Well, right now, I've been in the lead in all the independent polls. So the question is going to be, is am I going to face a Democrat uh, Marie Glusenkamp Perez, or am I going to face Jamie Herrera Butler? I think that's where the competition really is. Obviously, I'm not to scrape for, for every last vote because of the jungle system, and there's been about $4 million dumped into the district in the last 12 days because the, the establishment fears that uh, Jamie Herrera Butler won't appeal to enough Democrats. They're trying to siphon off votes from me to Heidi St. John. That's the strategy right now. Again, I don't think it's going to work. So I think, I think it's a toss-up right now. Democrats are having a horrible cycle with everything that affects the uh, Joe Biden's agenda. Uh, however, we still do have Democrats in our district right now that have done a very tactical thing. They've rallied around one candidate, so they're unified, whereas we're we're a little bit divided on our side. Our district's still very conservative, so it remains to be seen who I'm going to face uh, coming up here in the uh, in the general. Joe, before you let go, I do want to ask you about this because there's stories out there trying to tie you to extremist groups like Proud Boys and Oath Keeper, groups that hold white supremacy views or Nazi sympathizers. How do you respond to those allegations? So first off, I completely reject any kind of racism, anti-Semitism, any of that. I've even had actual white supremacists and Nazis come to my rallies to yell at me and, and say that I, I'm somehow you know, not pure enough because there's a concerted effort right now by a very despicable group to take the banner of America first and say that it only applies to you know, white people or to very, very extreme Christian views. And that's just simply not the case. The America First movement is fighting for every single American of every race, every creed, every religion. That's, that's what our message is. So right now, the establishment is throwing a wide variety of messaging at me. One day, they'll call me a crazy Bernie Sanders socialist. The next day, they'll say that I'm literally Hitler. So all of this nonsense that I'm linked to extremist groups, it's just more of the same thing that we experience every day as conservatives. And I, and I think the conservative movement right now, we're so sick and tired of hearing this that it just kind of washes over us. So there, there's nothing to that whatsoever. Anybody who's come to one of my town halls or to one of my events knows that this just isn't the case. So this is just more of a left-wing talking point. Okay. Joe, good luck tomorrow. We'll check back in with you after the, uh, after the results come in.
Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, it's Rob Carson. With inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates skyrocketing, your retirement plans are in danger. Well, our friends at American Hartford Gold can help show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Yeah. If you call them right now, they have a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order. So don't wait. Call now. Here's the number. 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309. Or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.